for the sign of Virgo. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. So Virgos, in the recent past we have the Tower card. Now this can be, but not necessarily, an indicator of a relationship that needed to end or was about to end. If you were in a relationship that you absolutely positively did not want to see come to an end, this was an important time for damage control and for clear communication. You needed to find out how your partner was doing and how they were feeling. Also, you, sh you should have made sure not to make any assumptions. Find out for sure. And the Tower card is paired with the Eight of Swords. Now when it comes to love, this card points to a need to seriously reevaluate a relationship. You may have been sticking with someone that was actually not good for you. You probably figured it's better than nothing. If that was the case, you needed to rethink your thoughts because we all know that being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone. So if you are or if you were in the past looking for love, first you need to look at how well you loved yourself. Someone else would not be able to come along and fix you. You needed to start where you were or start working on you. And that would have been in the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy about her. She could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But it does not have to be. She could be other signs. But this card stands for those signs. So when we're not referring to an uh, actual person, uh, this card will stand for getting a lot accomplished. And often the focus is on work, career, but it could be relationships, uh, friendships, family. But it's more so towards work. Uh, the Queen is a positive, uplifting energy. Now, if this does stand for actual uh, female woman in your life, she's your good friend. She's your best friend. She's 100% on your side. Even though she could probably seem sort of self-absorbed, uh, if you are trying to conceive at this time, and this card appears in a reading, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. Okay, and then that's with the Queen of Wands. And we move on to the Seven of Swords. Okay, so the Seven of Swords. I think that card is upside down. But I hope you can, you can make it out. But I'll, I'll explain it to you. So sorry about that. Now the Seven of Swords, it can point to someone who is behaving with less than ethical intentions. Someone's not doing the right thing by you or in regards to you or you could be doing that to them. Now, it sometimes could mean that they're prying into your life or prying into someone's life where they don't belong. Uh, this could be you or someone else. Now, if you sense that someone is spying on you, then you're probably right. Also, if you are tempted to dig through someone else's life, go through someone's garbage, unless it's that of your children, your, your, um, your kids, or a child that has given you, for, given you cause for, for concern, you need to resist that impulse because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. 
Okay, and then that is the present. And with these two cards paired together, the Queen of Wands, it's about a female, a woman in your life, or she's about to come into your life. She's very fiery. She makes a very, very good friend. Uh, uh, it stands for uh, a woman in your life. It could be your mother, it could be a, your sister, your best friend, or it could be someone coming into your life. And um, she's there for you 100%. And it's paired with the Seven of Swords. Now, um, because the Seven of Swords is about behaving with less than ethical intentions uh, or prying into someone's life, I'm not sure if this female is such a, such a positive energy, she wouldn't be doing that to you. So maybe you're suspicious and you'll be doing that to her. Now, a lot of people think good things just don't happen. Or they just don't come by that easy <laughs> so maybe you're you'll be spying on her to see if she's really as a as such as a true blue as she seems so it just depends on the, your situation with this female woman but that's what those two cards are pretty much saying and that's in the present now we move on to the challenge we have ju the justice card. Now this card deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Just remember that sometimes you'll be called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone else you care about and remember that this can sometimes be as difficult and demanding as it is when you're up against something that is completely of your own making so make sure don't blame yourself unnecessarily if you are directly involved in a court case, it is likely to be resolved at least in a large degree in your favor. And that's with the Justice card and it's paired with the Fool card. Now the Fool card is always an indicator of newness in one form or another form in one way or another way. So in many ways it indicates purity, open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. Children are trusting and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now this is this is usually considered a positive card but there are certain things, or maybe one thing in particular, and that is being that is, and that would be being that it is important to take time to be sure that you are looking where you're going. You have to make sure you watch your steps. Pay attention to where you're going. Trust yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing. But doing it without any thought whatsoever will be a big mistake, as you can clearly see in this picture. It depicts the situation perfectly. And so, with these two cards paired together, the Justice card is about dealing with one's own karma. Or it deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause, the law of cause and effect. So it's about karma and it's paired with a full card. Take time to be sure you're looking where you're going. So it's about open hearted energy, 
such as the innocence of a child. Not paying attention to where you're going, just taking a leap of faith is, can be foolish, a big mistake. And then, like I said, it's paired with the justice. So you pretty much don't want to take chances and just do whatever because it might come back to bite you in the butt <laughs> if you just take a leap of faith. You might just fall flat on your face. So that's the challenge. You just watch, watch your steps carefully. You don't want to be foolish about it because the karma about it will come back and bite you in the butt. Okay, so after the challenge, we're going to move on to the outcome. We have the Eight of Wands. Now the Eight of Wands, with this card showing up, you can clearly see the picture is stating a lot of things are up in the air. You're probably feeling frustrated and tired of waiting. Now this card is a perfect indicator or a perfect sign that you have to be patient a while longer. You probably already have done all that you can do, but now decisions must be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things, as that will pretty much backfire on you if you do. Just remember that sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrist. W-R-I-S-T, in the wrist. All you can do now is to put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now just wait. That's pretty much what you can do or what you'll probably be forced to do is just wait. And it's paired with the Knight of Pentacles. Now this points to messages. Often with messages regards to money and finance, but it could be something else, another matter, another situation. But since it's the pinnacles, pinnacles are about coins. So we'll say this card is reading about coins, but like I said, it doesn't have to be, particularly if, if you don't have any, so it wouldn't pertain to you. But, um, the Knight of Pentacles, you're likely to finally receive news that you've been waiting on. And the news is good news. Now, it's a very practical card. The Knight tells us to pay attention to the mundane, mundane and normal parts of our lives. A wise man once said, take care of the little things and the big things, they'll all fall into place. So, with this card, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs and is a groundling influence. It's a very profound, it's a big influence. Okay, so these two cards paired together. The Eight of Wands about being, things being up in the air. You're just waiting on uh, situations, matters, things to either happen or to finish or to, to start. You're tired of waiting, you're frustrated, but it's paired with a knight of pinnacles. Those messages or whatever you're waiting for, it's coming in and it's more than likely to be good news. So whatever you're waiting for, it's, it's coming, it's right around the corner and you'll love what you hear. Um, so, Patience is a virtue, and it looks like it's paying off for you, uh, it's particularly if you're dealing with finances and money. Good news is coming towards you with this Knight of Pentacles. So with the Eight of Wands, uh, the wait was worth it, and that's the outcome. So Virgo, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. And then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a great day.